Okay, tomorrow, hundreds of people will be lacing up for charity at Jones Beach on Long Island. CBS2 is a proud partner of the Markham Workplace Challenge under our Better Together campaign. Markham is Long Island's largest accounting firm, and so far, the annual race has raised more than $1.2 million for local charities. The event is also bringing together Long Island's many businesses and government agencies, all registering as teams for the 3.5 mile run and walk and joining me live right now over Zoom are Mindy Davidson, the director of the Markham Workplace Challenge, Molly Crane, human chief human resources officer at Markham and a participant in tomorrow's race, and Paul Pactor, president and CEO of Long Island Cares, one of the charities benefiting from tomorrow's run and walk. And thank you all for being here. I know this is a busy time. You're getting ready for the big run and walk tomorrow, so we thanks uh, to all of you for taking a couple of minutes. Mindy, I want to start with you. What does this event mean to the community? I know this is, this is obviously a a big day on the calendar every year. Sure, it's a, it's a great way for um, the businesses to um, build morale, uh, encourage a lot of camaraderie, um, bring their families together um, in this wonderful space. Aside from being a 3.5 mile run and walk, I would say about four fifths of the registered companies uh, set up their corporate technique at, at the event. So they get to just sit in a relaxed space, walk around, visit, you know, their peers at other companies. And no one really knows the difference between uh, who might be um, an administrative assistant, who might be the CEO, because they're all there celebrating together. It's good to see everybody out there with uh, workout clothes and bibs on. Uh, Mindy, let me ask you this. Just how important is this to everybody in the area? Uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, it's similar to, to what I asked Molly. I mean, it's just it's such a big event. And there's you can see the pictures that we're showing here. There's just such sure. so many contributions from so many different groups. Sure. I, you know, I think one of um, one of the reasons companies like to partic is participate is they want to support local charity. And the event has had a history of uh, supporting four charities, uh, raising, as you said, $1.2 million since its inception in 2006. So they like to um, support what we're doing out there in the community. Uh, Paul, do me a favor, Paul, just tell me uh, more about Long Island Cares and, and how this money that is raised, what exactly is it going to do? Well, Long Island Cares, as you probably know, was founded by the late singer-songwriter Harry Chapin 43 years ago, uh, a year before he passed away. And the benefit, as a beneficiary of the Markham Challenge, this is very important to help us feed the more than 220,000 Long Islanders who are struggling with food insecurity. So we have the potential here to provide over 25,000 meals to those Long Islanders in need as a result of the proceeds of the Markham Challenge. Uh, Molly, you run every year. Uh, why is this so important to you? And are you ready for this race this time around? I think so. I'd like to think so. Um, <laughs> it's a great event, like Mindy said. It really brings so many people together, and everyone's there for the same cause. You know, these are great charities. Um, they're so vital to the community of Long Island. And at Markham, one of our core values is community and giving back. So what better way to give back than to get together with your family and your colleagues and participate on such a beautiful course on a Tuesday evening? And, and Molly, let me ask you this. Uh, you know, about all the employees at Markham, obviously you guys are, are behind this front and center, but how much excitement is kind of, I guess, you know, coursing through the veins of the halls at uh, you know at the office with this kind of event leading up there's a lot everybody gets very excited the day of the race everybody comes in in their t-shirts so it's a sea of i think this year we're wearing navy so it's a sea of navy t-shirts with the big markham logo and everybody's really pumped to go and then when you when you attend there's just it's a huge tent all markham shirts and like mindy said you don't know who's who what level people are everybody's just there for the same reason so yeah. it really is a great event man mindy this isn't just one of those places where you just show up and you contribute and you run i mean this this takes a lot of planning into this yes. <laughs> yeah we we generally start planning as soon as we, we hold our beneficiary check dis distribution on Giving Tuesday in November and basically start right up from there, you know, um, reaching out to sponsors, contractors. Um, uh, we have a huge amount of um, volunteers that we have to find. Um, we have a small staff. Uh, it's also liaising with the team captains, um, holding meetings with the parks department, the police, and our medical units.
And before I leave you go, you guys, oh, Paul, just last 15 seconds here, food insecurity, obviously front and center here. How important is it that the public is educated on that? Well, I think it's critical that the public understands that, you know, a quarter of a million people on Long Island are struggling to put food on their table. And now tomorrow with Long Island's biggest barbecue uh, ever, the Markham Challenge, we have an opportunity here to make a real dent. Well, we want to thank all of you for being here. Uh, rest up, get ready, <laughs> and uh, enjoy the day. And we know it's all for a great cause, and we thank you guys for taking a few moments for us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Great to see everybody. Again, the Markham Workplace Challenge Run and Walk will take place tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at Jones Beach State Park on Long Island, and we'll be right back.